I wanted to make a video about what I personally am doing during this time period. I wanted to share it with you because maybe you could draw some type of similarity or inspiration from this. There's a lot happening. And I feel like when there's a lot happening, when there's a lot of information, we can feel overwhelmed. And when we feel overwhelmed, we can go into these spaces of overthinking, of uh, anxiety, worry. So I wanna offer you a solution for that. There's two things. The first solution is to find some meditation. I know that everyone doesn't know how to meditate, but I feel that everyone is able to meditate. So I'll just do a quick meditation with you. The second thing is I feel like you, if able to, you need to get back to your creativity. I do creativity for a living. I'm an author, so I get to write every day. If you have a camera in your house and you love photography, pick it up. If you love drawing and used to draw when you were a kid, get that pen and, and that paper out again. Cooking is creativity. Maybe finding new ways to play with your kids. In my opinion, and this is something I truly believe, creativity is one of the paths to happiness. I'm fully aware that millions upon millions and billions of people uh, are having an, an interrupted life. I'm one of them. We, we have to think about how we're gonna pay rent, how we're gonna feed our kids, how, all this stuff, I understand. One of the things that I preach from my work is to control what you can control, which is your effort and your attitude. The rest of the stuff that's going on, we can't personally control. So control your effort and attitude by trying to get back to your creativity if you can. And then this, the other thing, the first thing I mentioned is getting a meditation. Personally, during this time period, I'm gonna meditate every day. Meditation for me is a clearing of my, my mind, uh, my emotions. It's me clearing it off and allowing everything to pass so I can heal. Meditation is healing. So first, understand that you can have thoughts when you meditate. Sometimes people think, hey, I'm thinking while I'm meditating. Am I doing it wrong? You, you can have thoughts. You, you can't actually just shut your brain off and say, hey, don't you think, brain, don't think. Uh, but what you want to do is set an intention. So here's what that looks like. I'm about to set an intention. I'm, I'm currently filming a course uh, right now. You can see that there's a camera set up. You can see the, the camera set up right here. And, um, we got the audio mic. Uh, I'm cur currently filming a course called Deep Healing, which is the sequel to my care package book. I'm going to set an intention for this moment. I'm going to do a quick meditation. My intention right now is to bring good energy to this course, to let go of things that I can't control, to stop seeking information, um, and to just anybody I come across, just try to spread love to them. Um, and if I don't spread love to them, at least I just try to keep love inside of me. So that's my intention. So now I'm gonna close my eyes, take a couple deep breaths, and the words that I said out loud, I'm just gonna repeat to myself. That's it. That's meditation. I hope you guys continue to heal deeply, free your energy, and chase your passions.